Okay, this is a tutorial on how to um, install SP Recovery on your Droid 2.1 and to root it. You don't. Uh, okay, my, my, although mine is rooted, it looks um, pretty much similar. Just assume that it's a, a stock 2.1 Droid. I recently got mine just yesterday, so. Um, just assume it's a stock 2.1 Droid. All right. To start, you're going to download all the files in the link. Uh, links in the comment thing with um, This is my main computer, but I'm going to be doing the actual. Um, I'll be showing you what to do, but you're going to need to do it on like an XP computer. I have 764 bit, and it doesn't seem to work too well. But you're going to go to the first link and get the, uh, I think it's in my downloads folder, um, the, the first link to get the Motorola drivers for the uh, USB. Um, depending on what your uh, OS version is. If you don't know it, I think you can go uh, somewhere in the control panel and it'll tell you. But you're going to need the, let's see if we can find it, uh, USB drivers 64-bit or USB drivers 32-bit. Uh, let's say 64 bit right here you're going to want to extract that and uh, install the USB drivers on your computer and then after that you're going to uh, take the RSD Lite folder and I'm going to RAR and unrar it using a uh, what do you call it, uh, WinRAR and if you don't have it you can get it at, um, well, I'll put a link in the description but you going to WinRAR, you should see like a little book stack for it, but um, it should be R RSD Lite 4.6.7z, uh, 7-zip too, I forgot about that. Here, you're going to go to the 7-zip file, right click it, and then hit 7-zip, and extract to RSD Lite 4.6. If you don't, um, you go ahead and do go ahead and do this, but I've already done it, so it doesn't make a difference. I just threw it on the, uh, the desktop. But after you've done that, you're going to take the uh, um, your droid. Remember, st stock 2.1 from my own. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to plug the uh, USB end into one of your USB ports on your computer. Make sure it is snugly in there. Okay. Then you're going to plug your USB end. Onto the um, grid itself. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to power it off. Hit OK. Then you're going to open up the keyboard. And contrary to popular belief, which would be that's the up button, you're going to hit this up button and hit the power button at the same time. And then as soon as the light top turns on, let the uh, 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 power button go and everything go, and it should boot up to this. It'll say bootloader 26.6C right at the top here. Battery OK, OK to program, and then transfer mode USB. Now from here, you're going to um, open up RSD light. And you're going to want to make, run it as an uh, administrator. And as soon as it loads, okay, see mine? It should say connected to your droid. I'm going to show you the steps to this process, but I'm not going to redo it because my droid's already rooted. But basically, you're going to find your file, your um, your uh, SP, SP recovery file. Make sure you download that too. Just download all the files before you even start. But you're going to want to go to the uh, SP recovery file. Don't edit it. Don't rename it. Don't anything. And then you want to double click that. It will say something over here. But since I'm in 64-bit Windows, I can't do it over here. But it should say stuff over here once it loads. Give it a second. There you go. Okay. It'll say your device ID over here if you have, you know, the basic stuff and then and then when you double click on the thing it'll say something for file properties it'll say stuff like that over here but right now mine's not doing it and it'll let you say, uh, hit start and you're going to hit start and then let it run through and after it's run through it'll uh, 
they'll have a little process bar right here. It'll say progress um, executing. It'll have a percent. And then this might happen. It happened to me. At the very end, after it's executed everything, it'll probably say, please manually um, boot up phone or uh, turn on phone right here. Don't do that. You can reboot it. I rebooted it just to make sure it was okay. And then it didn't really matter, so I just hit close. It'll ask you, it'll say um, something about could be damaging your phone. Um, would you like or do you wish to proceed? Just hit yes. But make sure the process is finished first and you're, and you're booted back into Android firmware. Now that hasn't, you haven't rooted your phone yet. You've simply um, made, you, you've put on the SDK, or uh, SP recovery bootloader. I mean, a uh, booter. So that if you break your phone, you're good. I'm going to go ahead and re reboot mine now. But um, when you do the process, it'll say I'm um, hacking your phone uh, kin or something like that right here, right around here. And if you see that, the boot is successful. But unless you want to break your phone, do not unplug it until it's completely booted into Android and you clo uh, closed R RSD light. Okay. Well, I'm just going to shut my phone off now. Um, boot it back up. You're going to go to downloads. That's it. Okay. Your downloads folder, wherever you might have put the uh, the up uh, ESE 81 update.zip file. And you're going to want to find that file and rename it to just plain old um, update.zip. Don't, that's the only thing, that's the only file name you can change, okay? So, update.zip, update.zip. Not ESE81 update.zip, not update1.zip, update.zip. And once you've done that, you go to your phone, you're going to go to notifications, you go to notifications, and see USB connected, and then it'll say mount. Don't mount. Make sure your SD card is in. Your 16 gig, which it should have come with. Hit mount. And then, in just a few seconds, Windows should recognize it. Alright, there we go. Windows recognizes it. Okay. Now we're going to um, go to open folder to view files. And then, down in, in the root of this card, which in Windows 7 it's over here. You can do all the file management and everything but the RSD? LSD? <laughs> yeah, RSD light thing in here. Alright, now you're going to want to take your um, up, update.zip file and right click it and hit copy and then go into removable disk D and then right click it and hit paste. See, mine's already in here. It's on, on the root. Like it will be removable disk. In my case, it would be D, um, D colon slash update dot zip. Just the root. Nothing. Not in a folder. Just the root. Okay. I'm not gonna do this because mine's already in there. But you're gonna hit. Um, uh, it'll be in the root. That's just a bunch of music. Ignore that. Okay. So mine's mine's right here. After this, um, you're going to. Um, turn your phone back off. I'm sorry, hold on. Turn it off, yeah. Right, then, yes. Droid, yes, thank you. Okay.